Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Shayla. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I wanted to get this up a lot sooner, but of course life got in the way. But a holiday is coming up, Thanksgiving, and I wanted to give you guys a full uh, glam look, something that will look amazing for Thanksgiving or just if you wanna be full glam for Friendsgiving, whichever. But I'm going to give you a really nice full glam fall look today. So I hope you guys are ready and we're just gonna jump right into it. So if you guys like full glam makeup tutorials or just any makeup tutorials in general and hair videos, subscribe to my channel for a new video every single week. So let's get into it. So throw on the hair back. So my eyebrows are done already, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. I feel like I'm so out of my element right now because I haven't done my makeup in probably like over a week. I have been breaking out like crazy and I've just been trying to treat the problem. So I just, I like, I don't know where to start. Like picking out everything I was gonna use today was difficult. I'm just gonna start off with my eyes, I guess. So I'm going to use this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip um, eyeshadow primer this will be my first time using this so if this is anything like the hydro grip face primer I'm gonna be so excited see how well it turns out in case you guys hear my stomach growling I am starving and actually I really wanted to prep my face with the NYX Bear With Me Facial Spray. So for eyeshadows, we're gonna keep it pretty neutral, but it is gonna be glam, so we're gonna have shimmer, mattes, it's gonna be like the full shebang. But So I'm going to be jumping in the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe New Palette. So this is the Divine Neutrals Palette, and I just got this recently. And this is what it looks like, and I think this is such a perfect palette for fall like you can create so many looks with this this is just a great neutral palette in general for all like if you this is a really good like everyday palette so just to set like the eyeshadow primer i'm going to use this shade right here and it is in just barely and i'm using my morphe m200 brush and i'm just going to pick that color up and set the eyeshadow just put that all over my eyelid So next color I'm gonna pick up is this like cool brown shade and it is called Boo Bear. And I'm just gonna place that all over the lid. So the goal for this look is kinda of do like a halo look. So I'm just like patting that color or that shade on the eyelid. Okay, so right now, of course, it looks messy, but I am going to take the same brush that I used earlier. I'm going to use to pick up uh, Good Vibes, which is a kind of warm, coolish, brown, taupey color. It's a nice transition shade, but I'm going to use it to blend the crease and with the Boo Bear color there. So next I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's called Birthday Suit. And it's like a really pretty bronzy gold shade. I think I'm gonna use my finger for this to have a better placement. And eyeshadow tends to be a lot more pigmented with your finger than a brush, unless you wet the brush. But I'm gonna, I want more of a specific like placement. So I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna do it right in the middle there. There we go. 
I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade. It's called Drippin'. It's more of a yellowy bronzy gold or goldy bronze, whichever however you wanna say it. So I wanna put it right, I'm gonna put it right on top and see what that does. Okay, yep. It's definitely a little bit more brighter, which I like. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of Boo Bear and just intensify the inner and outer corners of it again. And this brush is actually from a boxy charm video. I forget, I think they're the Saint Lux, maybe? No, Lavish. They were Lavish, and it's like a little eyeshadow packer brush. So next I'm gonna pick up um, this color right here called Cinnamon Roll, and it is the darkest brown in the palette, but what I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to intensify the outer and inner corners a little bit, but mostly focus it on my lash line to give my lash line a little bit more like dimension. Focus it down here. And taking my M200 brush again, I'm just with no product. I'm just gonna go over like up here and just blend out the edges for no harsh lines. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of brow bone, brow bone highlight just to brighten up the eyes a little bit. And by using the same palette I'm actually gonna use this really pale pink in the palette and it is called chic happens I'm just gonna focus it right up here I use a matte instead of a shimmer because I don't want to draw too much attention to my brow bone a matte shade is sufficient enough to brighten up the eyes a bit And then going back with my M200 brush and blending up here. And I just wanna see if I can intensify the shimmer on the center just a little bit more. So I'm gonna use a brush and then spray my brush. <laughs> For mascara, I'm going to use my always all-time favorite, Essence Lash Princess. For lashes today, I'm going to be using the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. They're super pretty. By far like one of the most comfortable lashes that I ever use. I love Kiss Lashes. For lash glue, I'm using the Duo Brush On Adhesive. This is the one with vitamins. It's like, it has green lettering. And while that actually dries down a little bit and gets tacky, I'm going to tight line my upper waterline. And I'm using the Dual Ended Tartiste um, Liner from Tarte. It has, a liquid, it has a liquid liner and a pencil liner on the other end. I always use a liquid liner. This is like my favorite and I never even use the like, other end of pencil liner end only sometimes for these situations when I want a tight line um, but that's about it I always buy this duo just for the liquid part okay so eyelashes are on we're gonna move on to face and then I'll get back to finishing up the eyes um, when I'm done with my face so for primer, I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Oh, this is so cold. My hands are so cold. It's cold in this house. 
For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, and I'm in the shade 360. And I'm just gonna spray my face again with the um, NYX Bear With Me spray, just so it can blend with it. And I'm gonna use my Eco Tools um, blending sponge. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer and I'm in the shade 350. Put some here, put some there, and I'm actually gonna let it sit a bit so it can dry down and it has more coverage. So while that is sitting there, I'm going to cream contour and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and this is in the shade Bronzed Bell. And to place and blend it out, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I did see that they came out with a um, brush specifically for these and I want to get it because maybe it'll make my life a little bit easier blending them out. I mean, they're not hard to blend out, but to have a specific brush for it, it makes my life a whole lot easier. So, and you guys know I don't really cream contour much. It's not my typical thing, but we are going for full glam today. So for cream contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend all this out. And sticking with the creams, now I'm going to be using the Elf Putty Blush, and this is in the shade Bahamas. I'm going to use this Royal Length Nickel um, Moda Studio Angled Brush. I feel like this brush is dense enough that it picks up really great and blends really great, um, this, this blush. So now I'm gonna set all the areas I put on concealer with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. This is an OG setting powder and I always use it. One quick tip that helps out great for your concealer not to crease is right before you set it, take your sponge again and just tap over it a little bit to kind of blend any little creases you might have developed while you were doing something else. And then set right away. chisel out my contour edges here Oops. so I'm not gonna leave that on for long I'm actually going to dust it away right away and to do that I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep I'm just gonna take this powder brush from wet and wild and 
tap in there, pop up any excess. It's got a good amount. And I'm gonna dust this away. And then with just any excess, just like set anywhere else I didn't really set. So like my contour, my blush, dust this away. Under my forehead. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in What Shady Beaches. I'm just going to use the Real Techniques Contour Brush to do this. I like this brush because it has such a more precise application than like using a bigger bronzer brush because I really just put it on top of the contour really. Damn pimple is driving me crazy because it hurts too and it's in the way. For blush, I'm going to use these, this e.l.f. blush in Always Rosy. And I'm just going to be using the same brush as I did with the, con with the um, I'm going to say contour, with the cream blush. It's actually a really great pair with that cream and I just overdid it as always. gonna blend it up Let's see actually i'm just gonna just a little bit off with the powder brush that i had and then fix it up there you go a little bit on the nose because that's we're looking rosy and i'm going to highlight and you guys know i love a matte base i don't typically do highlighter but this is a full glam that deserves some highlight. So we are going to use this Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter in Iced. It is a really pretty, like, champagne-y, goldy shade. I'm actually going to use a little bit of this Bare Minerals Brightening Concealer, like, eye brightener. Um, under my eyes just to give myself a little bit more brightness. I'm just going to use this Morphe M208 brush, big, huge brush. It's not for like eyeshadow, but it's a really good, like precise, big brush. I'm just going to put down here. Ah, put too much. We're going to dust it away, don't worry. Overdid it. Of course. Where's my sponge? Use my sponge to like kind of tone it down a little bit. Oh. Alright, so now we're gonna finish up the eyes. So actually with this same brush that I was using for the outer inner corner, it's a packer shape packer brush i'm going to use it to go on my lower lash line i don't know why it took me so long to say that it was pretty hard to get out and i'm going to use the shade boo bear i'm just gonna pick it up with like the tip of it here Okay, and then for mascara, same thing, Lash Princess, and I'm gonna put down my lower lashes. And to brighten up the eyes just a little bit more, I'm gonna take, ugh, <laughs> I'm gonna take some of the highlighter and put that on my inner corners. And this brush is also from a BoxyCharm from Saint, I believe this is a Saint Lux, yeah, Luxie Mini Round 141 brush.
for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill lip liner, and this is in the shade Hot Tea. I'm going to be using then the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Knock on Wood. So I think I'm actually going to um, use a different lip liner just to intensify or like just in, like enhance I guess my like the lip the lip liner? Gosh, I can't talk. I was gonna put the Jaclyn Hill one over top, which I still can, but I feel like it's not gonna be um, like intense enough. Yeah, see it's not as, it's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in nude truffle okay so that is more like it and now i'm going to top it off with this next this is milky gloss and this is in the shade cookies and milk I just did a little bit, just for some shine. All right, now to just set it all and be on our way, I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. What do you think? I hope you guys enjoy it. I bet if you rock this look for Thanksgiving and you walk right into that kitchen and all that food looks at you, it's gonna be like, damn girl. That turkey's gonna be coming back to life and be like, damn girl. But speaking of walking in the kitchen with full glam, like this is what we do all the time, like every year. Put on a full face, six inch heels, bomb outfit just to be in the kitchen standing around, staring at your cousins, staring at your uncles, eating some turkey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for a new video every single week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.